So in my whole lifting career, I've always struggled with muscle imbalances. One side being bigger than the other or being stronger than the other. And this has caused me a lot of insecurities about my physique and problems in the gym. So I want you to not experience that. Because I've got some tips right here that I want to share with you to um, fix your muscle imbalances or prevent them. And the first tip is to improve the mind-muscle connection with your weaker side. Okay, try it like, for example, try flexing. Um, if you have like a one bicep bigger than the other, try flexing them. Like this one and this one. And you might notice that you can flex a bit harder with one side than with the other. For example, I can flex a bit better with the right side than with my left side. And my right side is bigger than the left one. So um, that may be because my left side hasn't got the same mind muscle connection as my right side. And my muscle connection is basically how well you can feel the muscle working. And um, to increase my muscle connection in the one side, um, you can like, when you do a set, for example, of bicep curls, really actively try to think about that muscle. Like get into the muscle when you're, when you're doing the reps and um, really try to feel that one side the way you do it. Another way to like, Increase by the muscle connection, like big lifts, for example, on like a bench press or something, is to pre exhaust the muscle with an isolation exercise, for example, chest flies, and really try to feel the um, chest first, and then get into bench press. And I noticed that um, I will feel my chest a lot better with bench press when I did isolation before to pre exhaust my chest. Um, so that's a way to really increase like mind-muscle connection with your weaker side. And the second tip is to trying to include some unilateral exercises. And what unilateral exercises are, are actually exercises you do with one arm at a time. Um, for example, one arm pull downs or uh, one arm rows or um, one arm bicep curls, something like that. Um, it shouldn't be all like unilateral exercises, but try to include some if you don't already do unilateral exercises. And um, that way you can um, target both sides equally, equally and really focus on that one arm um, when you do the exercise. And also when you do it, try to do the same reps per side. For example, first do your weaker side and you get like nine reps. Um, but then do your stronger side and stop after nine reps because otherwise your arms will also grow equally, equally and the muscle balance will be fixed. Um, then the third tip I have is the muscle balance probably came from some um, form mistake you were doing. Something in your form you were doing and like your, when you do bench rest, the one arm just a little bit closer to the sole and a little, little, little mistake in your form can already cause, um, a lot of muscle imbalances over time when it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So to really fix your form, try to, um, for example, film or uh, yourself doing a set um watching the mirror if you can or uh, ask a training partner or something to watch watch your form and really try to perfect your form uh, maybe do it with a bit of light to weight first and then um to really try to get the form right and then um, you will prevent a lot of muscle imbalances and maybe also injuries in the gym. And the last thing, um, last tip I have for you is just increase volume for your weaker side. So for example, what I used to do is 
fortunate I had my right leg, my right quad bigger than my left quad. Um, so I would do, for example, three sets of neck extensions. And when I was done with the three sets, I would do one set of one leg, um, um, one leg extensions, uh, one leg only with my left leg, I would do one set at the end. So I would do three sets with both legs and one set with only my left leg to grow my left leg a bit more. Um, that you can do so just increase the volume of your weaker side until the weaker side catches up. And these are some tips that um, really helped me with fixing my muscle balances. They aren't gone completely yet, but they have become a lot better. And I'm really, um, I really hope I could teach you something so you could fix your own muscle balances. See you, see you next time.